Okay, so right, we need we need a good intro. How about a scream? Uh, do 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 your best scream. That's less of a scream, a scream and more of a child dying. Um, anyway, ah! <laughs> hello and welcome ah! to our second ever podcast. Ah! That's that was better than like the loud loud scream. Ah! Um, so basically, ah! but basically, I'm scared for I'm scared for the stories. And and well, right, that's why. Right, let's why just I was get started. So this then. is we're gonna do a Halloween podcast. Um, because we fancy it and. Because um, we, we we did do a podcast six months ago. That was quite a good fight, actually. Uh, six months ago. That was a very long time hopefully, ago, Hopefully, uh, people will enjoy I mean, it more this you, time. You, yeah. you, you, Finbar, you were still you were still a teenager back then, weren't you? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was still 19 me. of the age of goodness years. Goodness me. Um, anyway, so should we get going? Before we get into like any horror stories or anything, um, I want to talk about like our channel and stuff, because... Um, oh, but that, oh, I suppose people, it is a people bit wanna, of a horror. People want to... Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> people, people like to know about like, the background stories oh. behind channels and stuff and all that kind of crap. Now, um, There is no background story, we just, really, is well, there? Well, no, I was like... Let's be like, like things that behind the curtain... We actually met uh, at the Battle of Solitude. Um, <laughs> I was a Stormcloak. Finbar was an Imperial. <laughs> we, sort of, we sort of got chucked in the barracks together. Wow. Wow. Um, I, ki- I killed all his friends, took one of his eyes out. I was fine, obviously, because right, I'm a great warrior. T- can we not talk but, about uh, Skyrim right now? That's what, just but that's so... how we met. That's not how we met. Oh, you're going to actually say the boring no, we, of how no, we met? No, because that's, no, that's not what I was going about. I was saying, like, the channel, right? Remember we were going to try and change it from F&D were games we? to DNF games? Yeah, because we, we never finish anything b- ever. But th- that name is so perfect that we were too lazy to even change our channel but, name to DNF Games. But, Finbar, what? it's not true anymore because we're going to finish Volts Wars, aren't we? Well, maybe. But literally, well, by like but episode thing, 500 or whatever. But the thing is, every series we've ever started just never gets done. It has it sort just... Of just been shunted aside. <laughs> well, no, it's just stuff. We're just cursed. It's like it's just horrific, um, and also I was looking at our demographics. You saw my tweets about it. Um, uh, no, I don't follow you anymore. Did you unfollow me? I unfollowed you. I, I get annoyed <laughs> at your. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll give you a follow. It's all right. So um. All right, there you go. Basically, I was looking at our demographics, and the demographics who you don't know is like what percentages and your stats. I'm like, no, demographics is people actually, and like where people are from. So, oh no! Yes, I did see that tweet. So actually. firstly, it, uh, firstly, I'm it was a fan. <laughs> firstly, it's kind of some of it's kind of scary. So firstly, we have uh, 49 percent of viewers are from the US of A. Um, 24 percent or 25 percent are from the UK. Five percent are from Amer- Australia. Um, and then try and guess the countries after that. After Australia, gonna, what? Who's our fourth? Who, who's, who's our, our fourth, fourth country? Yeah, who who watch us the fourth most? I'm gonna guess it's not gonna be an English speaking country. You're wrong, actually. Well, I can't. You're sort of. You're country. half wrong. They sort of speak. Oh, almost. is it Canada? Then? Yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, the, that's that's. I'd expect that. Yeah, no, that's that's so, right. Then what's after that? Have a guess. Are, are they an English speaking country? No. Is it? Is it? Is it's it? In the is Europe? It, is, it, is it? Is it? Is it Belgium? Cl- very close. Is it? Is it the 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 Netherlands? Yes, the flattest country in the world. Uh, the Flatlands. <laughs> th- then I'm just gonna skip through. It's like Ireland, New Zealand, Sweden, Norway, Singapore, Denmark, Germany, Belgium. Right. I want to go down to our least viewed countries in the world, and because they're just well, really well. Surely there's gonna be hundreds that have zero on it. No, no, like that, like that have like very small amounts of views, like oh. literally like thirty or seven. Uh, oh, look, this place with one view. Um, there's some. Okay, right. Okay. Is it? So we've got one viewer from Somalia, but he did watch twenty minutes of a video. So. Oh, what a nice um, ch- he obviously nice didn't subscribe. Guy. I'll invest in his pirating affairs. <laughs> yeah. So our average Which viewer... is... Finbar, you know you can actually do that. You can do what? You can invest in Somalian pirates. Really? You can, like, yeah, you put can, stocks and shares in them? You can give them money them. and they'll... Yeah, they'll take, they'll take your money. They'll, wow. You know, they'll, like, buy weapons, buy ammo, buy fuel for their pirate boats, whatever. <laughs> and say, say they raid a cargo ship and make a million pounds. They'll give you a cut. So you can you can invest, say, 20,000 in them and they'll say, okay, we'll give you... 40% of our plunder for our next job. <laughs> That's a true story. I've done it many times. Uh, is that what... But you don't have any money. You're not rich, are you? Or you've got like a no, secret stash No, because all of... my pirating ventures fail. <laughs> okay. Uh, you... I'm joking. I'm joking. I've never invested in pirates, but you, it is... You can do it. Right, there's a country here called Svalbard and Jay Mayen. Is that just oh, made right. up? 
but they've watched three minutes of our videos apparently. Oh, cheers, um, cheers. Someone from the Sudan's watched. Someone from Bhutan. Someone from Togo. I didn't even know they had computers in Togo. Holy crap! One guy from Togo Maybe it was watched a smartphone. One guy from Togo watched twenty nine seconds of one of. Them. One guy from Afghanistan watched eight seconds of our video. Jesus, that is nice. <laughs> eight seconds. Nice, That's nice, funny. nice. What were they doing? Right. I don't know, maybe they just Let's scroll up into the, literally the tens of views Are we seriously going to go through every no, 200 I'm just gonna try and something find, countries? No, uh, the tens of views. Nigeria, 20 views. But they've watched 249 minutes. They're quite into us, Nigerians. Um, Thanks, Nigeria. <laughs> Finba, can we just get to the horror, please? Can I Gazazakistan? Um, 30... Oh, God. Right, no, I've, I want to show something else. Well, right, our viewer base, I thought it would be, like, mainly kids, but it's not. I mean, well, it is, there's a lot of kids, but I'll oh, go back. I thought it would be mainly members of the... Right, demographics, right? Oh, okay. I was going to say something Star Wars-y, but I couldn't <laughs> think of one. The I couldn't remember who public. the good now, guys were in Star Wars. All of our Wars. young viewers, right, they are. So all of our males between 13 and 17, people have actually legit... Finbar, these are just what you write on the account. My YouTube account says I'm 86. <laughs> you can't trust it. No, but like, like the kids... No, these are people... You can't, Finbar, you can't trust it. Well, I'm not being funny, but who would pretend to be a middle-aged woman? Seriously. Me? Really? Sometime? I don't know, maybe, maybe a girl who's, let's just say, I don't know, 14... Wants to watch something that's eighteen, you'll say you're no, but, fifty, wouldn't you? No, you'd say you're well, you say you're fifty, you'd say you're like twenty one or twenty two. Well, Why would you say know. you're Maybe fifty? They did it twenty years ago. Right, uh we've got well but it's really weird because there's none in like the mid twenties. They're all in the thirties and forties and fifties. So it's like age thirty Hooray. age thirty five to forty four, eight point two percent of all of our viewers are aged thirty five to forty four female Amazing. and female. Right. Ugh. Age forty five to fifty four. Twelve oh, percent. Here's your tweet. Twelve percent. Yeah. Quotation marks. Glad to know we make the old gal smile. <laughs> I'm pretty, like, <laughs> I don't see how this stats are fake because why would anyone make a middle-aged woman account if you're not? Because a no one's truthful on their YouTube account. Why not? I am. Mine says I'm 20, 20 years old um, from the UK. Uh, male. So mine's oh, true. Right. So, yeah, well, yours is true then. Screw you. So, oh, yeah, the but I have right. so many Facebook friends that I know are about, you know, 17, 18. 10% like, like of our us. viewers from but Sweden are over like 65. 10% of our viewers from Sweden are over 65. Holy crap. There's a lot of... 10%? I guess Sweden have, like, the super futuristic internet, don't they, though? So, they're yeah, all there. Not... Right, should we get onto the horror now? Sorry. I'd like to. I was going to say, I mean... As... Is this going in the podcast, that whole little thing? I don't know if you want... Oh, I don't know. Right, anyway, so... um, I can't imagine anyone except us would be hugely interested in I it. I thought it was just kind of funny, you know. Um, Whatever, let's do let's, it. Let's, can I, right, can should I we ask people in the stream chat, wow, and quickly, what, what age their accounts say they are and if it's true? They've been saying it. They've been saying oh, have it. They? Got 12, 11, 15, 13, 11, 11, 12, 12, 13... See, they are truthful. 91. I think they 15, are truthful. 7, 11... 123, <laughs> 11, but technically I'm 99,999,999. 99, Someone who's just written in binary, 15, 14, 16... I think they're 16, all pretty legit. 15, 18, Someone on someone's stir. account to say, but no one, right, in the chat, say you would not make an account to be a middle-aged woman. You'd make it to be a middle-aged man. I'm 93 when I'm really 11, 123, I'm actually 14... 520. <laughs> I'm 13, but says 40. But there'd be a man. I would say gizmo in my gizmo voice, but I'm unaware I had a gizmo voice. <laughs> so I'm just saying gizmo right, in my anyway, David voice. Shall we get going? Right, so we're doing horror stories, aren't we? And, and things we've seen. And... Things that are scary. Now, what is scary and relevant right now is the storm that's coming. Oh, God, we're all going to thin The Acropolis. Every single person in England is going to die. Gonna die. We're not... Everyone in England will die I mean, die I tonight. might actually die because, um, I mean, to me, the, the fact, the thing that's scary for me isn't isn't the wind that might knock over a tree onto my house and crush me in my sleep. Is it it's that not we the might lightning. get internet knocked out? If my internet goes again, dear God, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I, I mean, it took, I right, suppose, think about it. If it yeah. took BT a month to get me internet when it was sunny... How long will it take him to give the whole country internet? Back? Exactly. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna throw myself off a bridge. Yeah. I'm gonna have nothing to do. Oh, you'll be blown off a bridge. If I'm the gonna storms... have to like buy a book and read. God, God forbid. Mm. I'm gonna have to like read the. I don't uh, know what... See, I've got FIFA on the Xbox, so I am absolutely. But set. David, what if power goes out as well? What are you gonna do? 
Uh, well, I've probably got a few hours of life on me iPhone. <laughs> after, and then after that... After that, well, what are you, you going to do? After that, I'll probably just go and raid somewhere. Just raid? You're just going to start You're going to start a faction of, uh, like, people... Bandits. Bandits. I'll Bandits. start a companion. <laughs> <laughs> I'll join you that. We're going to go and raid the, the Discount Supplements Warehouse of its protein. Um, I was thinking more <laughs> the Candy King in Tesco's, but oh, okay. Get, no, go the Candy King first, because that's what's going to be like a hit point. And then after that the Candy King, point, yeah. after the Candy King, we go to like the Discount Supplements Warehouse and just get all their protein. Because, mm. you know, we can't, we can't root like, uh, yeah. We need... I don't know, I think there's enough protein What in if the gym words? closes, David? No. Oh. That's what like, will we do? I don't know what I'll Finbar, do. Finbar, if we've raided discount supplements and Tesco's, I don't think we're going to care about breaking into the gym. That's true, that's true. Yeah. We're, yeah. Do you think the cameras in there actually work in the gym? No, cameras any... You but, know Freeport? Yeah, I know. You said Cam- None of the cameras there work. They just do this for show. But if they yeah, did work... they just discourage If they you. did work... 90, uh, apparently 75% of the cameras in the Louvre don't work. The... They're just there to discourage thieves. Oh, right. Well, I was I was thinking. Well, I'm thinking now. Right, imagine like all the cameras in places like gyms and stuff like that. Right, where do they lead? In, in every public like, place ever. Like what? Like what if the like this is a sort of actual true scary thing that could kind of happen? Like people get hold of the footage who are like um, you know, a bit weird. Like, no, what? Like well, no, like. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well, look at that person shopping. Ugh. No, but like they haven't been changing them to stuff. They sure people don't steal, don't they? And like, is there have been cases where like people? Sorry, I, d- I don't, I don't write out my bank details no. on the floor of the gym, <laughs> thing. No, nothing like that. Like in changing rooms, if you get changed, I mean, people have like got pictures of or videos of women changing and put them online. Who have like been like security guards and stuff like that. I just find it a bit weird to look looking at you through like cameras Finbar, and that. Finbar, if if someone wants to do that, there's far easier ways. With the internet to get off on stuff like that. No, I know, but people like that kind of thing because it's kind of real life because everyone knows like the rest of it. Oh, it's acted. kind of real life, unlike it's like the we- cartoons. <laughs> well, it's, I guess it's a bit different from a uh, good mm. manga crap. But um, talking about, I don't know. Wait, I, just, I can't. I don't know I what just, it's called. I just find that like I don't know. If I was being recorded in my room, I'd be a bit worried. What well, anyone's done with the footage, you know? Unless you're doing face cam. Yeah, but no, but then then it's like I know I'm being recorded. Actually, you know what worries like me you're when I think, when I think we're not recording and I say something that I regret and oh, then yeah. you upload it. <laughs> you know, that's kind of the same thing, isn't oh, it? Dear. Finbar? You're actually one of those pervy weird people that you you're talking about. Am I one of the weirdos? Yep, you are. Wow. Well, literal you think I'm weirdo. weird? Well, this is this is a tr- right. This is something I found on the interwebs. Oh, horror story. Uh, but it's not it's not really horror story because it's true. So I'm just going to find it. it. It's things I'm, that make you go. Hmm. I'm going to find it and I'm going to link it to you. So get on. Um, oh, is it a script? Can we do voices? There, you'll be able to read stuff out. It's, trust me. This, I, did, I well, couldn't believe this was real. On Facebook you're, you're or Facebook Skype it. or I'm going to have to load up Facebook now. Um, oh my god, it even came up with a search <gasps> result. Oh, a notification. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send Sorry, you Sorry, I'm going to look at my notification right. first. What's scary is that this could be legal. Like this, Finbar, you didn't even link it to. I am man. now. Oh, Th- this Amazon. Is, this is like look, look. Amazon. Just look what it says. Oh, I saw this. Can yeah. you believe this? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, what we're looking at is on Amazon.com. It's called Ravished by Triceratops. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dinosaur beast erotica. So imagine, imagine walking with dinosaurs, <laughs> and we're getting three coffees away for the first person. <laughs> no, imagine, imagine like walking with dinosaurs comes Fifty Shades of Grey. The thing is, I mean, that picture is a woman and a very, very small triceratops. It's just the worst in real life, Photoshop the thing were in about the world. Twenty feet long. I, I know. Their horns were about at least. I don't know, four or five feet. Who's this author? Alara Branwyn. Is it, I'm going to search them. I bet she has unkempt hair. <laughs> unkempt? Is that a word? I do... Yes, it is. Alara Does... Branwyn. No, I couldn't put... So click to see expanded view. The that picture is so bad. It, it right. Oh, it... she's also written Doing the Dragon. Oh, my God. She's also... Oh, okay. Her biography <laughs> is... Taken by the T-Rex. Oh, dear God. In the Velociraptor's Raptor's nest. <laughs> mounted by the Griffin. Mounted by the what? T-Rex Troubles. <laughs> Kindle edition. Oh, my God. Uh, taken by the Pterodactyl. Taken by the Pterodactyl. 
<laughs> the dinosaur museum. How much you written? What's wrong with the Orc Chief's virgin tribute? <laughs> What's wrong with this woman oh. taming the dragon? The pack's new mates, werewolf. Of... Oh my god! Ba- oh, none of these have got horrifically good. Views, I mean, I'm not I being say. funny. Who who looks at a dinosaur and goes? Mm, yeah. I if if dinosaurs were real, I'd look at the dinosaur and think, oh, I or, run. or shit, run. I should run. Depending I should get on which out of one here. you're looking at. Well, I typed in Alara Branwyn and picture Miley Cyrus came up. So <laughs> maybe, maybe it's her. Maybe it's, it's her, her al- alias. Alter ego. Yeah. God. Right. I'm, the reviews are so brilliant, though. What an odd. Right, should I read the synopsis of this first? Please do read <clears> the synopsis. <throat> <clears throat> oh God. Right. Warning. And this is the tale of monster sex. Oh, God. <laughs> this story... Well, was... you know, has to have a warning. This story was written to unlock the darkest... Oh, your darkest fantasies and innermost desires. It is not uh... for the faint of heart, and it is not your mother's erotica. So it's not Fifty Shades of Grey, because there's people... Ah, uh, so it's not your mother's... There's people getting attacked by dinosaurs, and then suddenly... Oh, dear God. Um, all but of this is... <laughs> okay, right. I just don't get why someone would actually write that text. I, I mean... <laughs> when 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 that woman dies, like we all do, we all die. She's gonna, leave she's gonna that be remembered behind. for that. That's what she'll be remembered <laughs> right. for. All of the the sexual descriptions found in this book are very explicit in nature. It's not suitable for someone un- under god. the age of eight. Should I buy it? You know, should I buy we it? Should just do a reading curious? of it on a lo- Oh my bar. god, should we do Use that? Use F and Games funds to get it to download it. It's three dollars. We'll reading. It's three dollars twenty two. I could buy that. Um, that's not too much out of the price range. <laughs> I'll voice the T. Te- I'll, I'll voice oh, the yeah, Triceratops, we can, like, proper do- and you can voice the woman. Right, um, so she's, like, in part of a tribe, and they give her away to the Triceratops, something weird like that. But let's, I'm just oh, looking at the reviews, God. right? There is- Which is wrong initially, because, right, you know, so, humans 78 and out of 80 people gave this review a five star, as a- and this guy's accurate. This book actually prepared for me on a first sexual encounter with a wild Triceratops. <laughs> Prior to reading this book, I did not know what to expect when I stepped off my time machine into the Cretaceous Plains. Uh. <laughs> I must recommend this to all. So, the top review is a troll. Um, mm. sut- subtle contraband. I'm going to read this. Sure, this is dino porn, but did you know that our- the author know... Like, what? Did you... Did you or the author know it was child dino porn? Oh my god. Really? Wow. Well, I did get that from the picture. That was not an adult triceratops. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. Yeah, you can't, you can't be looking at pictures of baby dino. I mean, adult dinosaurs, just keep it yourself. But baby ones, mm. that's pushing it. No way. That's just against... You're, you're, you're sick in the head. You're wrong. Um, couldn't you at least make it the tail between a woman and a fully grown Tyrannosaurus? <laughs> oh, can you? That imagine- would have been shorter. I can <laughs> tell you that would have been a lot shorter. <laughs> but can, can you imagine? Like, cause it's got like its little flailing arms. Like, <laughs> trying to. What would it? How yeah. would it? It would just have to like fall onto them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it just. How would oh, it work? Dear. I don't really. If you think about a Tyrannosaurus trying to do it, how would it? How would it actually work? I don't. I don't understand. I don't know, Finbar. Like, you know, Finbar, to tell you the truth, I haven't put an awful amount of thought to it. Right, the, the title of this review is Puts the Horny Back in Three Horned Dinosaur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, uh, right. dear. Normally, my wife and I prefer to act out of human slash dinosaur fantasies and a full on cosplay get up. Well, these people are a bit. Um, oh, God, is this a serious I one? I don't know. Um. But when I threw my back out on the incident at the factory last year, I was forced to take a hiatus from donning the 80-pound ba- uh, Bakelite Triceratops costume I normally... Okay, this definitely isn't ...usually real. investigate over a love-making session. So he's saying he dresses up as a, t- uh, a Triceratops in a big plastic costume. Uh, oh, dear God. <laughs> and um, has uh, fun with his... So, Finbar, I'd love to know what you... What you... <sighs> generally search on the internet to come across this. It was on Facebook, man. It was, was on, it? It was on, you, oh, how did you find it? Because you had already heard oh, about yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I saw it. It was definitely on Facebook. Yeah. Definitely on Facebook. As frequently... I- as as the frequency of our booty sessions dwindled over the ensuing months, I tried, <laughs> I tried, I tried everything. Shouts, Stegosaurus pheromones. <laughs> what? Oh, this is <laughs> Flintstones reruns. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and the latest Dinosaur <laughs> Junior album. Oh dear. But nothing worked. I began to despair that our love life was over until I found this book. It has made everything better. Crying face. <laughs> wow. Something. Uh... I mean. Awful. Obviously, it was purchased as a joke, but it's so pretty ridiculously awful. But hey, I guess if there's a market, there isn't a market for it. Who who buys this stuff? Oh, I don't David, know. look at the length. The length of the book. 
Get some How long is it? Th- is it pretty long? 15 pages. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, to be fair, you're only paying, you're only paying what... Basically the thing is, you can, for that, you, you can read the first page on the website. Because you can click try inside. But you're only missing out... I'd, I'd like you not to do that, Thimba. I could almost feel Cold Tar touching me now. The thought of, I'm not God. going. I, I'm not going there. I think Who gave it five stars? <laughs> someone who was trolling. Oh, the trolls. <laughs> so yeah, that's a bit. I mean, the the fact that people out there like do this sort of thing, and to fun, the fact that probably somebody is watching this, uh, like uh, watching this video, who who likes this kind of thing. And we're probably no subs- one who likes this kind of. I don't. We've know. lost a subscriber, David, um, but we're never gonna know who it is. You weirdo. lost a subscriber. Why have we lost a subscriber? For because long? because they're we're taking the piss out of them. and They like these kind of books. Oh what? Because we they feel awkward that we know we think they're a bit weird. But then surely everyone thinks they're a bit weird. I mean, yeah, that's the sort of. Have you told your parents? <laughs> I mean, like you've heard of furries. This is just even worse. This is just so much worse. So, but I'm going to suggest we get off the uh, dinosaur yeah. porn topic yeah. now. <laughs> um, would you like to hear, because this is supposed to be a Halloween podcast, you want... would you like to hear a horror story? What, something that's happened to you IRL? No, something... Well, actually, yes, this did happen to me IRL. Would you like to hear it? Go for it. Okay, I was in the woods one day. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, was it going to no, start? Oh, was it going to start? No, no, this is a story from cadets. I was in the woods with okay, cadets. Okay, right, yeah. Weird and I've been happened. separated... With from my from my team, just yeah. call them a team. I won't go into. And I was I was walking around this woods for a long day. My phone wasn't working. You know, I, I knew I knew where I'd had to get back, but I was miles away. And it got night. It was raining. It was freezing because this was in like I don't know. This was in like March or something stupid. So and then I found this cabin. Okay. In the woods. A cab, a cab, that, and I thought. I mean, yeah. Okay. Right. Carry on. And I thought. I thought. Well, I'm not going to get home. And it's getting dark. It was like, I don't know, about half ten at oh, night. Oh, didn't go into the scary looking cabin, did you? It was that. I would think about, I was generally nearly hypothermied. Hyper- I would have died had I stayed outside. Yeah, I was nearly at hypothermia level. Okay. So I, I approached the cabin. I, I was going to be like, oh, do you mind if I just cotch here for the night? Cotch. To whoever owns a cabin. But I noticed the cabin was, the door was ajar. So I went in. I went in and it looked a bit but not completely deserted. So it looked as though someone had recently been there. So I thought, I thought I'd hang about for a bit, see if they come back. Hang about for a bit. No one came back. And I was absolutely tuckered out. So I thought, I'm just going to sleep in this bed. And if they come, I'll explain myself. We'll all have a laugh about it <laughs> and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I got into the bed. You got into a stranger's bed in a cabin in the middle of the woods. Yep. Yeah, so, um... so then I looked up. I looked up and... <laughs> This cabin, it had loads of, like, portraits around it. Okay. I mean, these portraits were horrible. They were they were really, really well painted. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but they were all of different people um, with weird features, and they all looked... They were all looking at the bed, so at me, oh, with God. real, real hatred and malice in their and eyes. And you didn't notice this face. before you got into the you, bed? I, it was very dark. I oh. sort of because the moon, yeah, you know, the moonlight. So you got you went into a them. dark, dark cabin in the middle of the woods that yeah. clearly belonged to somebody, and you got in their bed without looking around. They weren't about, you know, you know. I mean, if they turned up, I'd say sorry. You know, I was nearly dying of hypothermia. You know, you know. But anyway, so I mean, these were really putting me off. These photos, I felt really uncomfortable with them. Uh, so I sort of just, you know, tucked. Tugged under the covers, faced the wall, pretended it wasn't scary and stuff, and went to sleep. And then I woke up the next day, like quite early. I hadn't had a great night. Yeah. Woke up quite early, and it was super bright inside. Like sunlight was just pouring in everywhere, which was, you know, there were so many trees outside. I was really surprised. And I looked up and I saw that there wasn't a single portrait in the cabin. Really? Just loads of windows. Just loads of windows. What? So there must have been people. Looking at you. Yeah. Are you shitting me? I ran. Are you serious? Are you telling me the truth? Are you being serious? I bloody ran. That was the furthest and fastest I've ever run. (laughs) You've never told me this before. I never thought you'd be interested, but I thought since it's Halloween. That's quite a cool and very weird story. It was blooming scary as hell. the first thing that comes to mind that's a reasonable explanation for that is you're in a dogging hut. Um... So rather than the car, <laughs> I was it in was a like a hut, hut and, and then... all these people were annoyed that some some idiot just <laughs> slept in their dogging bed, and they 
But I mean, no, I mean these these portraits, they they were they looked like portraits. Well, nothing they... was moving. There was no blinking. There was no nothing. That's really weird. That's just maybe they're wearing masks yeah. or something because that's what they do, don't they? They wear masks to disguise themselves. We talked about this in our first podcast actually a little bit. I don't remember, but it was really <laughs> weird. I mean, they didn't they didn't even I mean there wasn't even a shuffle. Surely though, I mean, surely army. I mean, cadets... I thought they were like photographs. You know, photos or portraits or something. Wow, that's that but is really weird. That is, windows. That is actually c- quite creepy. I know. <laughs> wow. So, uh, so you walked up to a hut in the middle of the woods, went in. Cause you, I was, was gonna it, get hypothermia. So it was bar. really cold. It was like January, February time. I'm guessing it was March. So okay, so it was still quite cold. Time. So it wasn't cold enough to be snowing. It was cold enough to have really cold rain. Yeah, that's the worst. Which makes that's you worse even colder than snow. than snow. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay, so um, uh, people have people have done a vote who is more funny, and uh, <laughs> you're winning. Hooray! <laughs> well, I could have been dead. Oh, God, I mean, yeah, I ran so hard. That's that's a pretty good story. I, I still ran think so so it's hard. Probably likely that it's a, a a dogging spot. I mean, but if, where were you when this happened? What forest was where this? Where was I? What... I was in somewhere in Devon. Devon. Oh, that's a pretty weird. Place it was. It was out in there. the. Um, it was in one of the moors. Oh. Like Exmoor or Dartmoor, whichever whichever ones around Devon way. Okay, I was in that moor. <laughs> that's, it was horrible. That's pr- that is actually really weird. Um, so so that's your story. Of, so that's actually true. Is that actually true? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, I I I remember something the other day that happened when I was like a lot younger. Um, but it's, it happened right near your house. It happened. The oh, you remembered it happened. Yeah. Yeah. Day, no, right? I remember. Yeah, I remember on. it happened. So basically. Um, you know, by your up uh, the top of your road, there's like those new houses that have been put there that are like really terribly Reasonably placed. Reasonably new, yeah. And like the windows face really the terribly placed. Well, like as I in, love... no, as in like those houses at the top that were like, um, you know, like I don't know the what brand new ones used talking by the wreck. About. By the wreck, there's those brand new houses, like in the little cul de sacs. No, kind of. Uh, right, I have right no on the idea right what on the corner, you're referring right to. on the corner of the road. So if you walk up your road, Which corner? if you walk up your road to the top of the wreck, yeah, and you go around the bend and you walk along the side. Oh yeah, those ones, right? Yeah, yeah, those, yeah. sorry, get you. I get so you. So you know when those are all like demolished and there's like a really old house there or like an old broken down house. Oh, I saw that when it was on fire. Yeah, so did it, you know that's that, how that it, burned down? But I, but before yeah. that, right before it burned down and they they knocked it down. I was there. And I watched it. it burn down. Right. Basically, <laughs> what happened was uh, everyone used to go there because they thought it was all haunted and stuff. And um, they thought there was like some kind of tramp living in there. And that it wasn't rubble for long. I uh, know, but no, no, before it was rubble. So like before it all collapsed. But someone lived there before it collapsed. No, I no, it didn't. It was like it was like a really like. I derelict... swear, I saw a family in there once. Really? Because it was derelict, David. There was like no roof <gasps> for parts of it. Ghosts. No, but basically, we're, we're like, we're, I think I was like thirteen or fourteen, and we all were like. We all, we all tried to, like, creep into the house. Because, like, there was no gates or anything. I, I think there was a hole in the fence, actually, that was protecting it. So you didn't walk it in and injure yourself. And we just sort of walked I straight know, past that. So basically, first thing <coughs> happened was we all walked <laughs> yeah, into it. Um, mm-hmm. I think there was, like, four of us. Now, some of the stories right. surrounding this house were, like, um, that there was a hobo living out the back. And, yeah, and... there was a big drug dealer. There was a meth lab in it. No, no, there was not, not those. No, uh, the and... KGB was hiding bodies in it. Um, All sorts of stuff. N- no, no, not that. But basically, apparently, this hobo had um, had two dogs, and he'd killed them. Right? Oh, no! And what he'd done is he'd buried the dogs in the garden, but he'd left Aww. it so their snouts were sticking out of the ground. Oh! And apparently, you could find them. So we were like, Aww. we were like trying to sneak into this house. To uh to try and find what, them. To find the dogs. Yeah, to see if it was true or not. So we were sneaking in. We got to like the garage, and we went into the garage. And it's probably really stupid because it could have just fallen on our heads because it was all like proper crumbling yeah. away, and like it, like every, some of the people standing back. And I didn't really believe in that stuff, so I kind of went in. All right, and um, basically we walked in, and there's like a window at the back of the garage because some of them have that. Like, so you can look into the garage from the inside of the house, kind of thing. Uh, I think I know. Oh, what like, there was like here. a window hole. The window wasn't there anymore. And basically, um. As we got near to it, we saw like a bunch of rocks falling down. Um, <gasps> but then a few of them, like the smaller ones, just sort of stopped and floated in the window, like in the, in the, oh. the window outlet. 
for like a couple of seconds and as though something and then I sh- did not think maybe you just had a bit of latency and no and then I shat my pants around because I was like oh my god maybe that's not possible maybe it was a glitch possible. in the matrix uh, glitch in the ma- I might have discovered a glitch in the matrix but I'm I- not going to lie maybe, maybe your internet just had a little hiccup <laughs> I don't think um, my internet had a hiccup but that was really no? that was really weird like I don't know I mean, but the only thing I can think of... Those little things you can't explain that The only thing I can think you, of was, like, there was a big cobweb, maybe it fell on, but these rocks weren't small. They were, Wait, you wouldn't like, have thought a like cobweb a would cobweb deal with it. A cobweb would have just, like, it would have just gone straight through them. But then, if there had been a cobweb, it would have been a massive spider, which is equally as terrifying. Like, like a, yeah. like a ten-foot oh, no, spider. Oh, if I see a cobweb, I'm... That's <laughs> You're it, gone. that's it, that room's off. Neither of us That room's likes. out of bounds. Like, what do you dislike more, um, a cobweb, I mean, uh, a spider or a wasp? Um, that's a tough one. Really, I like wasps. Oh yeah, you're friends. I, I'm I'm good with wasps. You're like friends with I, wasps. I, I seem to just like be able to deal with wasps. The wasp <laughs> will come over. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll be able to just tell it to go away, and it'll go away. Wow. So um, kind of. I mean, have you, I mean, I must have told you about the time I fed a wasp. And it yeah, I don't think you've told it anyone away, else. Yeah. So like... Oh well, basically, in the summer when wasps are out. Sat down with, with a sandwich because it was lunchtime. Wasp came over, landed on my hand. I was like, oh, what's up, man? And uh, he, he looked at me and I looked at him. And it was obvious what I wanted. Broke a tinsy bit of crumb off my sandwich, popped it on my arm. He took it, flew away. <laughs> it's just, I just can't believe that. Oh, sting, no it's not as It's not as good as the squirrel story, though. That's just brilliant. That really is just too good. Uh, yeah. So, I think its tail fell off in the end, that squirrel. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. So, God. Uh, the squirrel lived. The squirrel did live. It just had to crack on without a tail. <laughs> That's not a good life. Uh, a ta- not a great... Well, you know... Can the squirrels grow their tails back? Is that possible? No, no. They're not iguanas. <laughs> I, do, I don't know. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a quick Google of some um some other folk stories, and we'll see if we can find like. Are you gonna have a Google? Are see you? See if we can find. Is there anything else scary that's happened to you ever? Um. Um. Do you have any powers that you know my about? My sister's under the impression that her university flat's haunted. No, oh, because obviously. the kettle turns on by itself. <laughs> that's a little bit odd, but uh, it's pretty mm. faulty. If my kettle, the thing is, if something in my house like goes a bit dodgy. I will he just, just chuck it away. Yeah, like, if it seems a bit weird or noisy, you always seem to jump to conclusions, but then you look at it and it's like, oh, it was just the wind blowing or something. But, oh, in the house I used to live in... It's never just the oh, wind Oh, my God. No, 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 no. It's no. never, ever In my just last the house, blowing. the first time this happened, this scared the shit out of me, right? Because, <clears throat> you know, I had sash windows, right? So, like, the windows that you pull up and down. Are you talking about your halfway, house? My halfway house. The halfway house, yeah. Yeah, where I moved, like, the temporary house. Yeah, the halfway house, right. yeah. Basically, I so, like, my wind... Because it was always really hot, because it was summer. It was a really hot summer this year. Yes. I had the window open a lot. <clears throat> and, um... Yes. One day, <clears throat> um, I had the window open. Well, as I did every yes. day. Hang on. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> and, and I heard that noise. No, I had, I had it open. Went to sleep. And in the middle yes. of the night, I heard the loudest bang... Ever. It was like proper, just like a lot louder than that. I couldn't really make a noise for it. Um, <laughs> that was that was so loud. <laughs> like it it sounded like a gunshot in my bedroom. Uh, it's I, probably a car backfiring. And I jumped, I jumped no, because I, my house at the back of the like my room's at the back of the house, so it couldn't have been that. Yeah, but if a car backfires, you'll hear it. But it was like three a.m. Car ba- cars. It, yeah, was, it was like 3am and it was just... It Taxis was, will still be rocking about. It was a about. Sunday as well, so nothing would have been going. Um, oh, maybe it was a gunshot then. So no, but like, it's really loud. And I was sitting up for like 20 minutes trying to figure out what the hell had made that noise. I was walking around my room looking for stuff. It, I, it, I really struggled to sleep. And then the next morning I woke up, opened and my curtain. And there was curtains, a gunshot wound on your pillow. No, opened the curtain and I realised that my window had slammed shut in the middle of the night. Oh, like proper ooh. slam shot ooh. and that kind of scared me as well because I lean out of that window a lot and if that window had come down where I'd be leaning out of it I would have it would have probably knocked me out the window it and I would have died it wouldn't have exactly decapitated your finger you might have it got was, a great it was a heavy window no as if it had just been my neck right that would that could have come down and of course some ser- I could be in a chair of wheels right now mm. um like stuff like that oh god that was weird oh and also remember those those couple of days where we had some like crazy thunderstorms uh yes. Right, because I had my, I do obviously I had my window open again because I hadn't learned my lesson, and um, like uh, I was woken up by like, the most ridiculously loud bolt of lightning, 
and it happened to hit. Nice. It hit something at the end of the garden, like one of the tall trees or something. Oh, nasty! And literally, it was an instant flashbang, and I jumped up. It was so loud. And then um, <laughs> I was really scared to go to my window to try and shut it because I thought I might get struck by lightning trying to close my window. But, oh, bless but I'm you. Really, can, um, this is the question. Can lightning strike you through an open window? Like, if you're in your room and you're like... Uh, strike uh, you? Any well, if you're generally, a houses are fitted with things so that they can't hit anywhere in the house. They've got those things. What things? Those metal strips. Oh, do they? Most houses have metal strips on them. So if the lightning's heading for the house, it will just... Hit the metal strip and hit the ground. Oh right, because I was going to say, cause literally like, every building in England's fitted with one. I of was always worried that like, if you've got your window open, because it's always gets really hot, and you do, I don't want to shut my window because I get hot, but I don't have it open because I don't want to get struck by lightning. So it's like I'm in my bed, I'm hearing this lightning, like oh I should probably shut my window, I don't want to die. I'm not thinking no, of that casually. You'll be fine, Finbar. Okay. Normally when there's thunderstorms like that, I I just worry about rain getting in for an open yeah, no, window that's and true as well. fizzing up all my electrics. But um, I think, Okay, so the lightning... But what if it comes like straight through the open window and doesn't hit the metal around it? It just goes through the open window and hits you. No, the you. whole point of the metal is that it attracts it. Oh, okay. So we should yeah, be safe. I mean, every, I'd swear every building that's like younger than about 200 years is okay. fitted with that. My house is pretty new. Oh, did you know something about my new house that I'm in now that's quite interesting? Uh, and it's a bit oh, weird on. to think, right? Apparently... Um, the house I'm in now used to be a massive drug den. Um, I don't know what it is oh, with sweet. houses I've lived in and weird. Because basically, um, apparently, like loads of they had like I, I did, it wasn't quite a what kind of drugs. It wasn't a meth lab or anything that bad because that just ruins oh. everything. But I didn't. You don't really know because the house has been so redecorated. But apparently, there was like um, like one of the Brentree's biggest weed dealers and um, some proper sweet. ketamine heads are here. And it's just, it's just really weird that you think, like, literally two years ago, this would have been, like, a seriously dangerous place to be. Yeah. And now I'm sitting here, not wearing any clothes, just chilling out in front of my computer yeah. with some nicely fresh painted walls. It's a bit strange, but... Um, oh, you know, time goes on, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it's a bit weird to think that... And also, in, in my house, house... I've lived in a lot of houses. In the um, the house I used to live on near the Tesco's, um, like, loads of drug... Well, drug dealers live next door, I think. Like, there's loads of drug dealers in and out and selling drugs and stuff. I wasn't really... As they do. I wasn't drug really... Drug dealers I will sell really, drugs occasionally, I wasn't really they? old enough to know what was going on, but uh, my parents didn't like me going out much, <laughs> um, funnily enough. No. And recently, some people were stabbed on that road that know. I lived on. Drug dealers got a deal from somewhere, Two people they? were stabbed was stabbed up on that road. Uh, Probably drugs related. It was drugs related, actually. And that time that I got punched in oh, the face. Oh, it's like Detroit really in Braintree, isn't it? It's getting, it's getting bad. It's getting bad. We need to leave here before it just like this gang warfare turns into. We should start a faction. We'll head to. We'll head to Cali. Where? California. Oh right, yeah, that's why I want to go. I do want to visit. It looks so nice in Cali. Good old LA. All uh, right, so I'm gonna look up some folk horror stories and see if I can. Uh... Some folk horror stories. Yeah, cause they're always terrible. Um, and brilliant as well at the you know same what, time. You know what saddens me? When what? there's a cool horror story and then science explains it. Oh, it always annoys me. It's just like, oh, shut up, science. That was a good story. Okay, right. The act... Like the, um, oh. like there was this story, uh, this thing called Death Mountain in like the uninhabited bit of Russia. Oh, yeah. And some people, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, like 12 or 14 or 15 explorers tried to, um, tried to climb it and... Like a week later, one of them came back, and all the others were dead. And they searched it and found all their bodies in really weird things. Like a lot of them were naked. Uh, like four or five of them were missing their tongues and broken bones and whatever else, That's really all weird. dead on this mountain. And it was weird. And science just came and said, "Yeah, this is what happened. Ruined everything." <laughs> Oh, there was an avalanche, and the survivors uh, ate the tongues of the dead corpses. And it happened in the night, which is why they weren't wearing many clothes. And the dead, naked ones, the clothes were taken to keep the other ones warm. That's weird. Boring. That's boring. A pretty horrible situation. Though. It's like it's... I mean, it's a, it's a nasty situation, but it's not exactly. Oh, oh there's a dragon on the mountain. No, is there's there? some. There is something that hasn't been explained by science. It's really weird, and I don't know if anyone can figure it out. Oh, there's there's loads of things that haven't been explained by science. Well, firstly, the Bermuda Triangle. Like the Voynich manuscript and stuff. What? You not heard of the Voynich manuscript? No. Oh, it's like this thousand-page giant book that they date back to like I don't know at least at least a thousand BC. What? And it's no one could write back then, surely. No, I think Other than like hieroglyphs, the, the Egyptians I guess. were yeah, like, true. yeah. I mean, it's not in English. That's the whole mysterious about it. They can't recognise the language or even relate it to any other language. It's a bit weird. Ever. They're probably just and isolated tribe it, or something. In it, it's got loads of diagrams of plants that have never existed or been found. That is pretty weird. And animals that have never existed or been found or even 
fossils been found. Oh, and... that's kind of cool. That is kind of crazy, isn't it? Oh, uh, kind... and then I... again, it could just be a storybook. A more recent thing. This, well, it might be going for ages, but I don't know. But basically, there's the um, Death Valley. You know what Death Valley is? I have heard of Death Valley, and I can't remember what desert it's in now. But uh, whatever. Desert. Isn't it in the Nevada desert? I think it is Nevada. Yeah. Um, but basically, out there, um, apparently, um, out there in Death Valley, there's, you know, obviously in deserts, you get lots of sand. Obviously, that's a, a common thing. You get cactuses, and you also get like you do. Like, you also you get do. rocks, right? You do. You do. Now, people claim they have seen. Like massive boulders, like literally hundreds of meters. Ooh. Well, not hundreds of meters. That's a big exaggerating. Like, like a few meters, like four or five meters across. Rather large. And they've seen them on the horizon, moving, as in like, Ooh. like actually slowly crawling along. But when they get to them, they're just a rock, and like, there's, there's no explanation of how they could possibly move. As in, these things must weigh a few hundred kilos each. Bimbar, do you want me to science that? So how would how would they move? Heat. Heat moves them. When heat. Uh, rises because on a really hot day, and it's a really hot day every day in the Nevada desert. No, that's desert. true. Yeah, they expand. You, you can contract. you can see heat rising. No, but surely it would make them move. They just get bigger. They just get a little bit bigger. No, but crack. it would just give the impression, wouldn't it? it? No, no, it wouldn't. No, if say you're looking at the rock from a mile away. Yeah. There's loads of heat rising between you and the rock. Oh yeah, no, you get and heat that waves. heat makes everything shake, and it could look like something's moving. No, not just... that's me sciencing. No, your but story. That, is, that doesn't work though because. Some people people put marks by them, right? Oh, do they? Oh, wow! People, some people put marks by them, like they put some a peg in the ground next to one of oh, these rocks. Oh, you never said that. They you came back the that. next morning, and the rock was not there anymore. It was just gone. This massive lump Crazy. of rock, which, and people have no idea how to explain it. And apparently, it still happens. So who knows? Yeah. Maybe they're like giant rock creatures. There's a lot of stuff that science can't explain, isn't there? Oh, there's another cool thing I heard that was on um on TV, and people that nobody can explain what the hell happened, and the, the so basically, there was this guy flying from the Bermuda Triangle, right, in his yeah. plane. He got lost. Not, not a great like, thing to do, is it? Like his communication stuff had got lost, um, but he, he had his compass working, so he could figure out which way to go back to get towards land. Was it not just spinning round and round and round? No, no, his compass was oh. working. So, his, so but all of his instruments had broken. Was it actually just pointing to what he wanted most, like Jack no, Sparrow's no, compass? No, it wasn't actually. This was a really weird thing. So he was about, um, I think it was like quite. It was a long way from the coast, like. He was probably right. So the plane can do about four hundred miles an hour, right? Because like a standard little that's probably, that's probably a bit faster. Maybe three hundred. Because like a standard little plane, right? A and little that, hobbyist that, plane. Maybe two hundred actually, because that's more realistic. A, hob- a, a plane you'd have if your hobby was flying. But basically, he was about four hundred miles off the coast, right? So it's a two-hour yeah. flight if he went directly back to land, right? That's pretty far. And basically, he said that when he was flying, he encountered some really weird clouds and like like a swirling kind of vortex thing. Ooh. Right, and he right, he made a mayday call before he went into that because he was lost. And he was saying, "I've locked my instruments. I need to, like, to make sure that I can have landing when I get in and stuff like that." Yeah. So there was a record of that call that he made, and the exact time he did it, and he was about four hundred miles out, and they had proof of that because they they've got instruments on the planes and that. Yeah, no, right? no, no, yeah. Then yeah, yeah, all I of his you. all of his stuff then went dark as he went. Did into he this... arrive five minutes later? <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, he went through. Apparently, he went through this thing. It was this was on Horizon and everything, and that's like a proper legit show. Oh no, you believe it if Horizon and, says and it's true. And he went through this thing that he claims was like some kind of time vortex, right? And he went through it, and he said he came out the other side. To, like his plane was shaking when he came out the other side. His plane was really damaged. There was like holes in it and everything. He managed to land it. Holes. And then, yeah. He, oh, holes. He man- and then he wow. and he came out the other side. And he realized he was at the coast, and he travelled like four hundred miles in about ten minutes. And trousers, he, trousers. And, he had, and that means he was travelling like literally thousands of miles an hour. And nobody could explain how he did it. Whether he was insane, whether his instruments had gone faulty and come out of that stuff. But apparently he'd gone 400 miles in no time at all, throw some kind of vortex and landed back on land. Really weird. Like when they present That's the evidence, it's kind pretty of, crazy. There's a lot of really weird, and that, like these are true stories. These aren't just made up stories. Oh these are no, things that I, have I believe happened. you. I believe you. They're the scariest ones. Things that have I happened. love the unexplained stuff like that. I do as well. Like, I adore you, you like it. trying to come up with ideas of how that could have happened, but with that kind of thing. But like, then, like, what the hell? There's just as many ideas as how it couldn't have happened. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean like, the easiest explanation is just he's nuts. It malfunctioned, he's... and he was actually a bit mad. Forty miles out, for, rather than four hundred miles out. Yeah. But... Because it, from a distance, you I mean, I mean that's what that's what a boring person would say. Yeah, no. But an interesting person would say it was aliens. <laughs> it was a. It was everything comes down to aliens. It was aliens. Definitely aliens. Oh, those people who say they got abducted by aliens, right? They never. They any, might have been. They're never anyone of power, 
right? They never want any anyone influential. Right. Yeah, but why would the aliens picking... want to draw attention if they're just trying to get a bit of info? Exactly. No, they want to take someone that people would believe would yeah, exactly. be mad. They're picking random Texans who end up being drunks. Uh, well, no, maybe not te- just just random, generally South Americans, because that's what they South say. North Americans. What? How... Oh yeah, South, South North yeah, Americans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. South um, USAans. And yeah, it's just. I mean, how many? And they always claim they've been anal probe. I mean, how much information can you get from anal probe? You have cancer or you don't. That's pretty much all you can gather from it. And how hot you uh, are. I don't know. You could... Uh, the consistency you know, of your poop. Bladder problems and stuff. Maybe maybe, maybe the aliens are just like collecting poop samples. Lots of poop samples. I think um, they probably just had to go at every orifice. <laughs> oh, God. Just poop. I'm not going to lie. If, you, if you're trying to find out, you, you don't leave any stone unturned. No, that's true. Yeah. That's true. So, yeah, th- those kind of things. Oh, there's another thing I heard recently um, about... Uh, I th- I'd never heard of it before. I can't remember where I heard it. Um, but basically, there's a thing called the Vancouver Feet, right? So Vancouver what? The Vancouver Feet, like F E E T, as in feet, foot. As in feet that are at the bottom of my legs. Legs. Right, apparently, so Vancouver's like up north. I don't know if it's west or east coast. Vancouver's I think it, in Canada. Is it east or west? And coast? I thought it was pretty central Canada. I thought it was on the coast. So, I'll give it a ma- I'll give it a Google map. So basic. I think it's on the coast, but basically, um, apparently, what's happened is, um, every now and then. Like, there'll be feet wash up on the shore, but, like, literally just a foot on its own, okay? An actual person's foot. Yeah, with a shoe and sock on, right? Just washing up on the beach. Oh, wow, it's in, it's in, a, it's in a river. Oh, is it? It's on a river. Well, kind of a river, yeah. It's, 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 it's um, an estuary. Is that it? Kind of thing. Kind of. Sort of. Sort of an estuary. But basically, these feet are, like, washing up on beaches. But the thing is, I think they found, like, five different feet or something like that. Do you think, oh, five, well, no, ten different feet, ten different feet, and think, okay, so five people have been killed, and their feet have and washed up. And have their up. feet chucked in the river. But, a lot of these feet aren't matching pairs, it's just a random Ooh, foot from a random more person. More people have been killed. So it's just, but why, why a foot? Maybe this Where's guy, the rest of the may, body maybe gone? there's this killer that has got one size ten foot and one size eleven foot. He was bullied for it as a child, <laughs> and it drove him insane. So he now runs around Vancouver way. Kidnapping people, cutting off their left foot, and just chucking it in the river if it's not right for his size. Yeah, that is that could, that is a bit weird, isn't it? But that could be a, a theory. Ooh. Surely they can DNA test these feet. Yeah, no, they did. That's why they figured out they weren't match. Oh, Surely well, they can find out whose they are. Apparently, no, yeah, they found out who whose foot they came yeah, from they, and they, try and link those people. You can find out who died, but apparently, like, there's not a lot of information. That they've given out on apparently, like oh. the, the government or whoever the government in Canada is, isn't giving out the information of the like the victims oh. as such. Apparently, it's been happening for years. Like just occasional oh. feet get washed up. It's kind of odd. Also, something I've I've got loads of weird things that I've heard of and seen. Right, mm. there's these islands in. This is sort of more just a bit disgusting than scary. But no, um, go on. There's these islands in the um the Hawaii, but not not Hawaii. It's like fur- like you know what the you mean I- in the Pacific. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like one of these islands <laughs> in the Hawaii. One of these islands that's just in the middle of nowhere, like absolutely just in the middle of the ocean, right? Are you talking about Easter Island? That's the most no, 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 on no, no, its no, no. own, I think. It, these are like little tiny little islands that are just sort of. You talking about the Cook Islands? No, you no. Are you talking about French Polynesia? No, I don't know. What, I don't. You talking about? I don't the, know what uh, they're called. Right? But, but listen, basically, you're some, talking about American Samoa. Some people found these islands, right? And guess, Wake Island. Guess what? They were absolutely coated in every single one of the islands was actually coated in. Guess what? Was it human skeletons? No, it like tons and tons of rubbish had washed up on only these islands. So like what? As in like as in debris? So like, like so like this these like, islands you are know like coke cans and yeah these islands are stuff. thousands of miles from where anyone. Oh lived. wow, that's crazy! And like all of this debris, as in by a lot of debris. I saw a video on it. This debris no, like I, four I can or five I can feet high. And it's just piled up across all of these islands. So, like, they're completely destroyed, covered in just crap. And yeah, it's really wow. weird how, like, the currents have just dragged all this junk that people have thrown in the sea. I'm surprised there isn't any bodies on them, actually, to be honest. Like, if it's dragged well, everything else on them. Well, that to me just sounds like a um, kind of, I don't know, government just getting rid of its waste. No not... one lives on the island, so we're just going to dump all our rubbish there. No, I guess, but it's been washed up from the sea because it more and more is added every day. So it's an actual thing. Like these islands just seem to attract rubbish. It's pretty oh, funny. Crazy. Maybe there's some. Maybe there's aliens underneath and they're metallicking it. I don't think so. Oh, another th- cool thing I heard. This also would scare the shit out of you, right? Is a farmer in I can't remember where it was now. It was quite a cool place. Um, 
Okay, if we can't remember, shall we say... It was somewhere like Brazil or something, where they do a lot of agricultural farming, like, by hand, horses and stuff like that. Because it, it wasn't... It was like two, three hundred uh, years ago. That sounds to me more China way. It might have been, actually. But I can't, well, where's a lot of... Okay, let's just say... Where's a fault... Where's on where's, where's a fault line? Well, basically, what happened was... A um, fault line? What, a, like... Um, basically, yeah, like an, an earthquake. earthquake line. Yeah, but basically... Oh, he, there's... He was, Japan gets pretty done with earthquakes, doesn't it? He was one day out uh, in his cow pasture, you know, just feeding his cows. And he yep, felt the, his cows and he felt food, the ground lovely. shake like an earthquake. And he felt earthquakes fall because they get him quite often. And where, then he saw he... the Starship Enterprise emerge from the <laughs> river and fly away. <laughs> no, it's, it's not Star Trek into darkness. No, no, it's not. Um, basically, this is a true story because it's like written a lot because of this, I think. And the, the actual thing that happened after it's still there. So... Um, the gra- his farm opened up in half, right? Kind of like the floor opened, and some of his cows just fell down this like massive rift in the ground. Oh, seriously? So, like, you know, because you, know, you know fault lines are just like actually massive plates of earth. They just split apart. Yeah, but I'm sure, I'm sure they can split apart. Yeah. Right, and then lava started gushing out at the end of his farm, right? And it just like, and then it solidified as it cooled down, and more just kept gushing out, and more kept gushing out. So he decided to pack his things and go, and uh, because you know it was getting closer to his house, and it, more and more was coming out, and um, he left. And by the end of the day, this little like this little mound of lava had become about twenty foot high. Wow! Right? And by the end of the week, it was about one hundred and fifty, two hundred foot high of like lava and that. And within a year, this was an absolutely fully fledged volcano sitting where his back <laughs> wow. garden used to be. It just That's formed. like some black and white rubbish. It, uh, like the imagine, game black and imagine white. if a volcano formed in your back garden. How? I mean, it's just terrifying that that could happen. It's really strange. Nature's pretty cool. I like nature. Just some of the shit's just awesome. Um, so yeah, stuff like that. I'm going to read you a story now. Okay, yeah, because I've done a few. Just put in the uh, the. Dream chat by okay. NL Gaming V. In 2009, a Boeing 727 was flying over a military base in the middle of nowhere and didn't respond when fighters took a look. No one was there. Suddenly, the plane started climbing up and up. Yes, it climbed up and up. And then the fighters couldn't track it anymore because of the height, because Boeings can go higher than fighters. Oh, yeah, guess, can they? Yeah, oh, fighters did... fighters are pretty short range little watsits. Oh, I, I didn't, think. I didn't know that. But yeah, so so it climbed up and up. The fighters couldn't track it anymore, and it was never seen again. Well, the plane just disappeared. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> There's another case of a plane disappearing, but it's more funny rather than um. Oh well, Finbar, do you want to know some terrible news? What? It's under roast ready. Is it okay? Well, can yeah. I just tell you this quickly, right? The American oh, quickly, Finbar. The American quickly. government made that a, gravy might get a skin. Made Finbar, a plane, and I will not be happy if my gravy a, gets a skin. Made a plane that was designed to go at Mach five, right? Oh, that's quite a few Macs, and, isn't it? And it was an unmanned plane because if you go at Mach five as a person, you will die. It will just tear you to pieces. Um, yeah, it will. But basically, they they launched it and it went so fast they lost it. They, 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 they I think. <laughs> They think they might <laughs> really? have flung it out into space because it was going it so quick. It just went quick. in such a straight line, it actually just left the yeah, curvature they, they of the just, earth they and just, carried they on. They just lost it. They just didn't know where it went. The US <laughs> it's, government... probably, it's probably hit some alien craft that was going to come and give us insane technology. And... Yeah, I know. It just, it just right. disappeared. Well, Anyway, I'm... Finbar, I do have to go and eat, Okay, well, I will probably play some games because people uh, are in the Are stream. you just going to crack on with the stream? Well, for my part, goodbye everyone watching thank you very much for come back watching. after dinner maybe if you're still ready i might come back after mid dinner sure okay i'll see if you're still on all right okay okay bye okay, well, bye everyone bye 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 bye